We're here. It's the last week of Super Soakers League. This week is All-Stars week. And we got two All-Star games because one would be a really short stream and three would be obnoxious. The first of the two All-Star games is an East versus West game. And then it is a Bowser versus Birdo game because those two players were the statistically best two players this entire first season. For the East versus West game, we had all of the top scoring players, the nine players with the most points, as well as one player at least from each team. The reason why we did at least one player from each team in this game is because in our Bowser vs. Birdo game, you'll see that the Wario Muscles don't have any players in that All-Star game, so we wanted to give them at least one in this All-Star game. So, the nine best players from the East, while also having at least one player from every team, were Birdo, Yoshi, and Red Yoshi from the Yoshi Eggs, Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, and Dixie Kong from the DK Wilds, Boo and Fire Bro from the Bowser Jr. Rookies, and King K. Rool from the Wario Muscles got a spot. And honestly, even though he wasn't the ninth best player in the league, or I should say the ninth best player in the East, he kind of deserves it because he is the best hitter in the game. He just, you know, was on a really bad team. Meanwhile, on the West, you got Pink Yoshi, Petey Piranha, Daisy, and Bowser from the Bowser Monsters are the only team with four players in this All-Star game. The Peach Monarchs have Peach and Toadsworth. Some people may be surprised to see Peach in that slot as she wasn't a great hitter, but her defense is stellar and she was the captain of that team, a team who made a great comeback under her leadership, so she definitely deserves an All-Star status. Moving on to the Luigi Knights, you have Baby Luigi and Hammer Bro. Hammer Bro was a slugger this season, even though the Luigi Knights sucked. And on the Mario Fireball side of things, Baby Mario, he's an outfielder. He's a good outfielder, and it will be an outfielder for the West team. You can see the batting order and outfield for both teams, both the East and West All-Star team. Both teams have really good pitchers, really good outfields, and really good sluggers. It's the best of the best. I mean, that's what an All-Star game's supposed to be, and I'm really looking forward to it. So we're going to get right into things... Let's go. All right, it's time for the East versus West game. I'll be representing the West Division because that's where my team, the Bowser Monsters, resides. And we're taking on the East Division. The East Division, I will say, I think they have the better team. Because the West Division has a lot of lackluster teams. Meanwhile, the East Division's got the Yoshi Eggs, the DK Wilds, the Bowser Jr. Rookies. It's so weird batting with Toadette, but hey, we got a single. And by Toadette, I mean Toadsworth. Speaking of batting with Toadsworth, I'm really excited to pitch with Toadsworth. He's the best pitcher on the game, and I have him on my team finally. Dude, I really don't know how to pitch with Toadsworth. I, and now Donkey Kong's coming to murder me. I don't know how to pitch with him. I did move the controller that time, I'll admit, but I moved it like a little bit and it curved the ball crazy. This guy is tough to pitch with. I mean, I understand, you know, if he's the best pitcher in the game, he's probably going to have the highest skill ceiling. He's going to be the toughest to use. But wow, is he actually like crazy difficult to use. I was really excited to have Hammer Bro on my team because this guy is insane. He was one of the few people keeping the Luigi Knights in it as long as they were because the Luigi Knights were the second best team in the West for, what, six weeks straight? And it was greatly, greatly in part to Hammer Bro. So it's cool to play with him. I set PD up nice here. He's got one runner in scoring position, two runners on base. I just need to do as well as I can at this at bat. He keeps throwing me these curveballs, though. It's not appreciated. I mean, I'll take the RBI. How did you get out? No way. Pink Yoshi actually got beat. The fastest character in the game got beat to second base. Not bad. How are you tired? I just got someone out. It's only the fourth inning. We've allowed zero points. Oh, well, scratch that. Never mind. We still got zero points on the board. I don't know why my pitcher is upset. I don't understand why Toesworth is tired. This dude is killing it right now. We're up one nothing. He just needs to relax a little bit. Yes, dude. All right, just don't buddy jump it. This is exactly why I wanted Hammer Bro on my team. They're probably going to buddy jump it. No. Hey, listen. He's still a slugger. That's just unlucky. Who are we loading the bases for? Let's make it happen. I think I've only hit one Grand Slam this entire season. 
let's make it two. Oh, if only. We still got a chance, though. Bases are still loaded. <laughs> all right, Pink Yoshi. Of all the times you could ever hit a home run, your first home run of the season could be a grand slam. I just need you to believe. I need you to connect. God dang it, he keeps throwing me these curveballs. No, she got beat to the base again. Oh my god, Pink Yoshi, you are an all-star. There's no doubt about it, but you ain't playing like one right now. I'll be honest with you, Chief, that's like three big mistakes already in the first five innings of this game for Pink Yoshi. I'm amazed. And by amazed, I mean I'm disappointed. <laughs> Also, that's why King K. Rule deserves his ninth spot on this, you know, East All-Star team. He just got them their first point with that RBI. He might not be the ninth best player statistically, and he might not have the ninth best box score, but he's the only person to get, you know, something successful done on their team. I'm not moving my controller. Why do you keep throwing these so far to the right? All right, thank you. Oh my gosh, let's go. I don't think they're gonna buddy jump this one in time either. Hammer bro is insane. I feel bad that he's stuck on the Luigi Knights who are a pretty bad team, cause he deserves better. <laughs> I wanna put Bowser up, but he's been my pitcher all season. I kinda wanna mix it up. Maybe we put Petey up, just for fun. All right, Petey, I need you to help a brother out here. Never mind, you've loaded the bases, Petey. I'm worried, I'll be honest. Maybe we're okay. We just gotta get through one more. One more hitter. Oh, let's go. Petey might not be the greatest pitcher, but he's doing better than Toadsworth so far. <laughs> we got runners on the corners. Bowser, just a brisk walk away from home. And Petey did hit a home run before. Let's just try to replicate it. I can't believe I swung so late there. I'm waiting for a... Oh, wait, they can't buddy jump because they took Boo off the mound. And he doesn't have good chemistry with Birdo. Let's go. No, Petey, what's wrong? You've only let three people on base. Yeah, it's been in four at-bats, so... You were three for four. Unsuccessfully. But I can't have you getting all sad yet. I need you. Okay, maybe it's okay if you leave the mound. Oh my god, I'm insane. We have a runner on third, so I am gonna replace Petey. Sorry, bud. And we'll replace him with Hammer Bro, because like I said, I've spent an entire season of baseball letting Bowser pitch. I wanna let other people pitch, just for fun. Let's go. Somehow kept that in and clean. Yoshi throws these really weird curveballs that I'm not a fan of. Oh, Bowser, he has been rushing guy. He has been a speed demon this game. I don't understand where this is coming from. And then, well, it all fell apart, but that's fine. We're still winning. Let's go, Peach. Let's go, Peach. This is why you're an all-star, baby. So we got them to go to pitcher number three, which is Diddy Kong. Kind of unsurprising, though it doesn't make sense. Like. The computers love using Diddy Kong as a pitcher when he's not that good of a pitcher. It's something I've noticed now playing this game for two and a half months, is the computers in this game love Diddy Kong as a pitcher. I don't understand the hell. I don't understand why. It doesn't make sense to me. Not a bad 11 to 1 lead. I'll take you. We're just getting RBI after RBI here. Maybe Luigi with another? Not bad. Hey, I mean, at least it's a 12 to 1 lead. If I, I, I don't know, man. Pink Yoshi, funnily enough, was the second highest scoring player on my team behind Bowser. And Pink Yoshi's been the worst player this entire All-Star game. Oh my god, we missed it. That's a nice hit, though. It was really out of here. I didn't have much time to try and buddy jump it. He deserves to be here. I'll tell you that right now. That's how we close out an all-star game, boys. 
with a perfectly timed buddy jump. So, as I said before, the second All-Star game takes the two statistically best players in the game, that being Bowser from the Bowser Monsters and Birdo from the Yoshi Eggs, and pits them against each other. They picked eight players in a draft style. So Birdo's first pick was immediately a Bowser Monsters player. Birdo stole Pink Yoshi away from Bowser. So Bowser, for the first time ever, will be playing against one of his own. Bowser felt bad about trading Red Critter away to the Peach Monarchs in week three. Therefore, Bowser picked Red Critter as his first selection for this All-Star game. Birdo used her second pick to once again take another Bowser Monsters player. So for the first time, Bowser will be facing off against PD Piranha. Bowser's second pick was Donkey Kong, the captain of the opposing team he faced in the Super Sluggers Championship. For round three, you had both teams picking a pitcher. Since Birdo picked first, she picked the best pitcher in the game. Bowser picked the second best as Boo. Then moving on to round four, Birdo picked Red Pianta. Red Pianta wasn't in the first game, probably should have been in the first game, however, and Birdo gave them a shot here in the second All-Star game. For Bowser's fourth slot, he picked Daisy, which is the only player on the Bowser Monsters to play with Bowser on his team. Birdo's fifth selection they took Baby Daisy as a, a shortstop, which is a weird use for Baby Daisy. It'll be interesting to see how much that works out. For the next graphic, we're gonna skip ahead a little bit. As Bowser used his fifth, sixth, and seventh picks to take each and every player from the Bowser Jr.'s outfield. The Bowser Jr. rookies outfield, I should say. With this outfield, they can buddy jump, they'll have a lot of success, hopefully. And because Bowser Jr.'s outfield is possibly one of the most underrated in the entire league and none of them got to play in the first all-star game so bowser selected all of them to be his outfield in this game meanwhile with the six and seven picks on birdo's side of things she took peach and yoshi filling out her outfield and second baseman and the last picks for each team funky kong for the birdo bows and light blue yoshi for the bowser monsters so we have a couple people playing in both all-star games but we have a lot of new faces as well and this is going to be very exciting for that reason. I think the coolest thing about this All-Star game is you have people from the East and the West playing together. And you have people from the same team playing against each other for the first time. With that, we're going to get right into the game. Same stadium, but at nighttime. And we'll see who wins. Alright, boys. This is the last game of Super Sluggers League Season 1. I'm not a fan of hitting against Toadsworth. This guy is so frustrating. He's such a good pitcher is the problem. I mean, he's already got two people out. And this first half of the first inning is already over, pretty much. Oh, Red Critter does not want to end the first inning dry. I missed playing with this guy. I'm so glad I drafted him first to this all-star team. Excuse me? Where did that come from? Oh, my God. I took a risk drafting the Koopas, but I no longer feel any risk about it. I'm 100% confident in my choice. Here's something I've been looking forward to though, is I've never been able to like pitch as Boo before. I've hit against him as a pitcher, but I've never had him as my pitcher. And he's a good pitcher, so I want to try to get the most out of him. Let's go, Boo. Got a strikeout against Funky Kong, one of the better hitters in the game. That's an important strikeout. I'm feeling good about it. Oh no. Mistakes were made. Don't go home. Where do you think you're going? Oh my god. Oh, that sucks. Well, it's the second inning, and we already got Toadsworth sweating, so that's a good feeling. Not bad. We got runners on the corners. Boo is our hitter for a first time ever. I get to hit with this guy. I would love to knock out an RBI with him. And then I whiffed on such an easy pitch. What am I doing? Oh, that's still gonna be an RBI though. Let's go. And they're switching pitchers to Birdo. That's gonna mess up their entire outfield chemistry, but she is a good pitcher. Bowser, oh my god. Why didn't you just go home at that point? Why did you come back? Whatever, let's get a Grand Slam with Red Critter. <laughs> I 
think we got it. Because they can't buddy jump. Toadsworth doesn't have good chemistry. Let's go, boys. There was no one who deserved it more than Red Critter either, I should add. Like, this dude is great. I love him. And he just gave me my second ever Grand Slam. Hey, what's up, Toadsworth? Nice to see you on the other side of the field again. Goodbye, my friend. That's another point on the board because they can't buddy jump. I feel bad for them, but I can't control how they readjust their outfield in the middle of the game. That's on them. The computers are dumb, even on the highest setting. Feels bad for them. Alright, I was reading chat and just got another home run with Boo. With Boo. He's a gamer. I love it. Not even three innings down, and we're up nine to one. <laughs> Let's try to get a double play off Pink Yoshi. I know she's a member of my team. I love her, but I gotta do it to her. Oh, Birdo's fast. Birdo was having none of that. I'll be honest. Respect. We got one more chance to catch Birdo slipping. That's exactly what I want to try and do here. Oh, you're not that fast, though, Birdo. Sorry. I think he's hit a home run every time he's stepped on the mound. This is getting absurd. And another home run for Koopa. Paratroopa. Oh, boys. This is... We're having a field day. All right, Bowser. We got two on base, but two outs. I know, normally, this would be a bad situation. We're very unlucky at succeeding in these situations. But I trust you. I believe in you. Let's get this bread. Let's go. That's <laughs> at least a two RBI single? All right, he didn't want to go to second. I won't ask questions. Well, two at bats later, and we once again have two on base, but two outs. However, Daisy, however, I trust you. You're a queen, and you're about to get this home run. Close enough. It's another two RBI double. Let's go. All right, this guy keeps getting upset. I'll I'll pull him off the mound after this inning or if he gives up a run, but he's pitching well. He's not really giving up many runs. I don't want to pull him off the mound quite yet. Okay. Yeah, he's getting off the mound next inning. <laughs> that was close. He's going home. All right, let's go. Great RBI. Let's see if we can get our fourth home run with Red Critter. I'm not going to swing on that curveball. I wanted to swing on that, but again, you can't home run off curveballs, so I'm trying to focus here. That was a curveball as well. Three curveballs in a row. Sorry, Red Critter, I tried, but hey, you still got three home runs. That's not bad, Chief. Everything's going to be fine. Why are you not running? I love this outfield. I think I'm officially going to say out loud publicly that if I do a season two, the mercy rule isn't going to be 20 because I'm convinced it's impossible to hit 20. <laughs> it's so difficult to get a 20 point lead. So I don't know. I don't want to do a 10 point mercy rule because I get a 10 point lead on teams often. Therefore, if I do a 10 point mercy rule, I'll mercy rule too many games, arguably. Like, I would say maybe like 25% of my matches would end early because of Mercy Rule. So maybe I set the Mercy Rule for Season 2 at 15 points. But 15 is such a weird number. Like, I don't know. 15 is just kind of a weird number. So I don't want to use it. But we'll see. Honestly, any suggestions at all for what Mercy Rule should be, I will appreciate and take into consideration. That's going to be it for Super Sluggers League Season 1. It is officially over. I don't know when a season two will be. I've talked a lot about it on these streams and these YouTube videos, but if people want it, I will provide. It'll either be in the winter or the summer though, because that's when I'm most available. <laughs> I don't have classes. However, I hope you all enjoyed. It was, it was a ton of fun. Over a year in the making and it's finally complete. So thank you. I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day. And yeah, I guess that's it. Peace.